Let's take our next question that is question number 19. The magnetic flux through a stationary loop with resistance R varies with time during the interval of time capital T and the relation is given by this where A is a constant. We have to find the heat generated during this time. So let's start with the solution. Now we are very well aware that phi is given as A T capital T minus small t right. Now what about EMF? So we can take the magnitude of d phi by dt. What we will get is A capital T minus 2t, right? Now we are very well aware that heat can be written as integral of E square by R into dt and the limit should be from 0 to capital T as per the question. Now let's put down the values and we can easily find H is equals to 1 upon R would be a constant integral of A square capital T minus 2t whole square into dt and this should be from 0 to t. a square is a constant it will come out a square by r integral of so t square dt plus 4 t square dt minus 4 capital T small t dt right and this integral should be from 0 to capital T. When you solve this you will get a square t cube upon 3R. Right? Let's see which is the best suited option. So, among the four options given to us, yes, option number 3 is the correct answer to this question. Now, let's move on to our next question that is question number 20. In this question, there is an alternating EMF of angular frequency omega which is equals to 1 upon under root LC. So, this is a resonance condition in this series LCI circuit. For this frequency of the applied EMF, we know in resonance condition, the inductive reactance and the capacitive reactance, they cancel out each other and the potential is in phase with the current, right? So, let's see the first. The circuit is at resonance and its impedance is made up only of reactive part. No, it's made up of resistance. This seems to be correct. Now, let's talk about the third point. The sum of the potential difference across the inductance and capacitance equals the applied EMF, which is 180 degree ahead of phase of the current. No, this is wrong. Then third, the impedance of the circuit is less than R. No, this is also wrong. So, the correct option to this question is option number 2. I hope you have understood this one. Now, let's move on to our next question. Now, this question, we have to find the time constant of the given LR circuit. And here, it's a simple case where time constant is given by tau, which is equals to L by R net, right? Now, across the circuit, if you see, this resistance and this resistance appears to be in parallel. So, 2R and 2R will be in parallel that means it becomes R and that R will be in series with this R. So, it is net 2R. So, with this formula we will find L upon 2R as a time constant. Let us see which is the best suited option among the four. Yes, option number three is the correct answer to the question. Now, let us move on to our next question that is question number 22. 